Let's play. Hello everyone, welcome back to SimCity Starter. We are here in Norwich Hills and we're going to start off with today something I noticed was an issue last time and that is trash. We have a problem with the garbage dump. We're running out of capacity. Uh, we're making a lot of junk and we need to get rid of it. And a quick easy fix of course is to simply lay down more dump zones. But you can only lay so many and it takes up a bunch of space and it looks crappy in my opinion. So what I generally try to do if I can is simply put down incinerators. It creates air pollution as it, as it says right there in the title. Um, but it kind of gets rid of, you know, the the piles of junk. So, And it's also right on our border. So it's really not going to affect anything in our city because all of our residents are on the other side of town. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one of these down. And I'm going to put it on the far side because I still want to put our recycling plant here. And I'm hoping to get to that soon. In the meantime, let's go ahead and run the game. And as you can see, well, hopefully it'll happen soon. Um... This will go down as they burn. Oh, it needs power. <laughs> it has power. But uh, as, as it starts to burn the trash, this number will drop and, and will be... All, yeah, all, there you go. Already it's burning away tenths of tons, which would... Man, that's still a lot if you think about that. A ton. Oof. We're making a mess over here in this town is what we're doing. So, we have some things going on. Uh, I'm going to get into this area in a second. I'm assuming this is more... Maxis man, it is. This is gonna. This is going to drive me nuts. We may at some point um, have to turn off our uh, notifications again, simply because it's it's going to get on our nerves. They're going to continue to ask us to do the same things over and over again, unfortunately, and we're not interested in these ones in particular. That being said, I want to do the yeah, Omega Co. And you can hear Henry in the background. He's Starving for attention every time I sit down to play a little some city. He goes he goes a little nuts I want to do a little bit of a redesign here and for that I am going to quickly pause the game because we're going to go ahead and we're going to tear down Some of our uh, some of our industrial the roads that I have running Here and here those were placed arbitrarily and looking back. I want to measure so I have a specific amount of buildings in each area three or four high density buildings back to back is really my goal so we have this curve so I have to kind of measure off of right here but uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and blow up some stuff and we do this a lot and that's you know that's alright it happens that's part of the game we're gonna get rid of this too um, so if I go in and let me think how I want to do this I need dirt road of course we always measure with our dirt roads I need to go up. <laughs> I need to go up 640 simoleons for three buildings, 844 or 845 for four buildings back to back. The problem I'm noticing is when I click right here, it's too close to a road, and we're not going to be able to measure here. I might, unfortunately, well, yeah, I think I'm going to have to delete these in order to get what we want because I like the width here, but I cannot measure. And it, if we start to measure off of here, that's not going to do us any good. So I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to bounce these buildings. So let's just go ahead and do it, destructive as I am today. And let's measure up. And let's see how far we have right now. We, okay, we have plenty. Well, we have 10, 13, of course, for the tree row. So I guess, yeah, let's go up. Let's do 844, 845, 844. Perfect. And from here, I can hold the shift key, and that allows me to create our road going straight across. Come back in here, get rid of that entire thing. Now, as you can see, we have a bit of a problem with this building because this intersection is too close to this road. Uh, to combat this, instead of having four buildings here, I'm just going to do three. That'll make our job a little easier. So I'm going to go back in here, and now we're going to measure 640. 
And I don't know if it's a give or take, so I'm going to go over rather than under. Actually, I'm going to go 640 on the nose. Look at that. Go to our snap point. Hold the shift key. Drag it straight across. And now let's get rid of... Well, let's go to the bulldoze key. Let's get rid of this. And this. And this. And now we have a little stagger. And that's alright. I'm fine with that. Let's take a look at our zoning. We even still have some zoning left, which is nice. Now let's rezone this. And, you know, the only, the only point to that whole exercise is now when this area does fill out, we're going to have a specific number of buildings. It's going to be three buildings here. Now these aren't going to be high density buildings, so we probably may not have had any to measure these, but I would rather do it just because it's fun. And I could actually do the math and figure out how many buildings we can stack in here. And I might do that uh, for next episode, but for now, I'm okay with that. What I am going to do is I'm going to continue to pull this road over and at the very least match this up. And... I'm deciding if I want to have this step up like this and stay this way and then the step. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So we're going to drag this straight across. Now nah, we'll just measure. I was going to, because what you can do, if you go to a snap point, holding the shift key, draw it straight over, even when you even when you can't draw a, a, a road. Well, I wonder if we can bridge over that. Oh, we sure could. Of course, it'll cost more to go that route than it would be to just simply uh, measure off of here. But anyway, what I was saying is this. If you go from here, holding the shift key, drawing straight across, if you get your cursor about in the center and you hold very still and you hit the right mouse key, you can see that didn't move. Bam. Now, I want to check this and see if I did that correctly. 640 on the nose. So I did. So again, what we did there, go to your snap point, hold the shift key, Draw it nice and straight. When you get to here, you can let go of the shift key, but get your cursor as close as you can to the center. Right click, and you notice my cursor didn't move. You can reposition and pull from here. So that's what we did there. That worked fine. We are going to, of course, <laughs> of course, I wanted that for here, but that's all right. So we're going to drag this straight across. Let's bulldoze this, and. We'll go back to this. I was so busy explaining what I was going to do that I wasn't paying attention to where I was doing it. So we're going to do the same thing again. Shift key over here, get in here, let go. Ah, and you see that? It moved. Sometimes it'll do that. Sometimes it's tricky. So let's go here. Man, it's fussing with me a little bit. So if I do this, I think that's going to be good. I really do. I think we'll have the, I think we'll have the number. We're going to double check. Let's find out if we have the number. So that didn't cost us a whole lot to build this short stretch anyway. So let's grab this. And we have... Ah, 843. We don't have enough. That's what I get. You know what? I'm not going to muck around with this all day. I'm just going to go ahead. We have a little bit of money. I'm just going to measure 844 or 845 and be done with it. So you don't have to sit here and watch me try to <laughs> cheat this system. So, But that is, a, that is a method that you can use. Now up in here, we could probably get rid of, uh, well, we have a few abandoned buildings. I think I'll keep this. We can use this area for parks, maybe, other buildings. I'm okay with how this is kind of coming together here. Um, I was talking about shifting this park. I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave it and have it be kind of uh, not such a, I mean, it's, it's a grid pattern, of course, but it's not boxed in and perfect and symmetrical. I'm trying to break out of that a little bit because I do that a lot, uh, making sure everything is perfect sometimes. I like the organic flow we have here, and even though this is measured to precision, it's got flow to it as well. So let's get in here and let's delete some of these buildings. I don't know what the heck is going on. Building fire, building fire. Oh, that's all of them. And we have homeless people, and that's because we had abandoned buildings, so now they will probably hopefully disappear and hopefully not go live in our parks. Because I don't want homeless people in our parks. Now, I'm going to trim this tail because I'm not sure what I want to do. I, we need, in a very bad way, to connect this additionally to this road, or at the very least, find a way to get these sims here. Because right now they're all kind of piling in either here or here. They bottleneck here and here, and then they spool around to go to different buildings. So this is going to be an issue... And I need to try to solve that. Let me check my zoning. Okay, I've got the zoning where I want it. So let me think. Let me try to use my brain. I could... If I try to divvy this in three different sections, that is to say... 
we have citizens here we'll call this the top this is the middle and this is the bottom if we connected here the bottom citizens would take this route the middle citizens would take this route and if we maybe connected through here they would take the top route let's start with that see how horrible it looks and if it doesn't look too bad perhaps we'll keep it so maybe I'll take this and just kind of go almost straight down so let's get into our road tool Boy, you know, I actually don't hate it. Let's try it for now and see what we get. And actually, you know what? I'm, before I even connect this, let's try with these three attachments. And maybe we'll go... How bad does this look? Hmm. We'll, we'll try it for now. We'll go from there. Let's get the game going again so we actually have some movement and some stuff happening. It's almost rush hour, so I guess that's actually a good thing. Because it will be busy soon. And it'll show us whether or not we've achieved our, our goal. And we already have our new industrial buildings. And you see one, two, three, and four. Perfect fit. That's good. This should be three when it, if it builds three right off the bat. Which it may or may not. One, two, and three, and we've got a really nice fit. And I'm looking at traffic now. That's a little iffy. But you know, again, we're only on dirt roads, and let's go ahead uh, and let's upgrade some of these roads. Let's take it to at least a low density, and that'll be a low density. Because that'll kind of help, but I don't know if low density from dirt roads is really going to do a whole lot for us. We should probably do a medium density. I don't like to upgrade. I'm one of those weird ones. I don't like to upgrade a crazy amount every single, you know, some people when they upgrade a road, they'll go straight from dirt roads if they use them at all. High density, boom, done. Um, I don't I don't generally like to do that. I like to go step at a time. That's just how I enjoy playing my game. If you want to upgrade them all at once, by all means, then that's exactly what you should do. This curve is ugly. I know I redid this curve, but I don't like it, so I'm going to redo it again. Actually, you know, I could even leave this sit. Let's leave that sit for now. I'll probably come back to it, because I know I said we could place some things in here. And I'm going to look into doing that. So, uh, what do we got here? What is? It? What are we saying over here? We have to turn passengers away, because we need more. Yeah, let's do that. If they want more... Uh, buses, then by golly, I'm happy to give them to them because that means we're going to be cutting down on traffic. We have 45 minute wait. Let's put down two, and I like to spread these out a little bit. So let's do here and there. And that looks kind of nice. And let's see if that helps with our not only our traffic. You can see all the Sims walking here. See, they're all waiting for the bus. Whoops, I didn't want to hit escape. I wanted to hit pause to see if I could catch up to our bus. But these are full of sims. Right now there's 14 of 40. And they came from there. That's awesome. Of course, I'm zooming in where... It... And this is 13 of 40. So, I mean, they have people on these buses. That's that's the good news, is they're, they're using what we're giving them. And that makes me very happy. If I look at my RCI, we don't need any more industrial. At least until we get more commercial. Um... I'm thinking I don't care. I think I'm going to add a little bit more anyway. Just because because I want to. So let's go in here and let's grab this. And let's do a stretch right there. And boy, if we're not wanting it or not asking for it, I should say they sure are building quick. We should have room for one more. Give me one more. Come on. You're on camera. Look at that. Excellent. That's why I like to measure in dirt roads and I don't use our road guides. I like to measure because I like the things to be precise. Even if I decide to do things that are more organic or strange or weird or not enough freight <laughs> wow we've got a, what's going on over here low land value oh goodness gracious there's a park right there raising land value all right that's our next task let's get into parks and raising land value let's look at our land value it is low over here and I wanted this to be medium let's go you know you can if you want grab one of the higher end, and this one immediately turn it into uh, a high wealth, but it will take it right to a medium. 
So we might have to do that. The problem is with some of these parks, they just don't like their shape. The way they sit or the way they look. I, I sure am being fussy about this, aren't I? Large fountain park. You have to have room for them. Now this is this reaches a good area and it's kind of big. I wonder if I can get this in where this... No, it's way too big for that. We're going to have to lose a house or two no matter what we do. I'm trying to do this with as little damage as possible and also with the nicest look that I can get um, on this curve where would I like it because I can go right in this corner I can go right in this corner I can go in the middle but I don't know if that's gonna look very nice I'm thinking one of the corners I, I think it looks nicer on this corner but unfortunately to the left of our screen it doesn't impact as wide an area as this does and that's just a shame well hey I have only myself to blame. I'm the one that built the damn thing, right? I could really use it up here, too. You know what? Let's do that one. Let's do it right there. And you see how immediately, because it's a high wealth park, all of this immediately went to medium wealth. So now we can go back to... Let's go back to our medium wealth. And the, I know we use these ponds a lot, but that's just because they're so handy. They're not, they're not huge, so you can plop them here and there and not destroy a bunch of stuff. And you get the results you want. How about right there is a good one? And already they're starting to rebuild and everyone's happy. So that'll do for now. Why are you unhappy? No shoppers. They're going to get more shoppers now. And these guys are going to have more. Look at that. Boy. They're going up quick. Well, that's good. That's what I want. And these houses look so nice. Look at that. I'll tell you what. I might be old-fashioned, but stuff like this. This is the American dream. Two cars, a couple of brats, you got a garage to go work on stuff. A bus stop right in front. At least it's a school bus stop. Yeah, just a nice house in a nice neighborhood. This guy's got a nice front porch. Yeah, that's good. Anyway, where was I? Kind of going with the flow today. I didn't come in with uh, an exacting battle plan as often I do sometimes. What do we got here? What would this guy like to do? Look at that. It's so awful. Firework fun. This one can be fun. It's going to cause some fires, but you know what? What the hell? Let's do it. Let's have a little fun, and let's quickly go in here and add a fire truck. We're kind of cheating, but we probably should have had an extra fire truck anyway. Let's bulldoze this thing. And that one. Is that all of them? Boy, abandoned buildings left and right. What is this one for? Building fire. How did I miss these? Apparently, we did need new... Uh, or more fire service because we have burnt down buildings that aren't doing us any good at all. And what are these guys protesting? Well, there's something on fire. <laughs> nice house, too. Sorry about your luck, pal. It was worth 50 grand. Not that we needed it, but that sure is fun. What are they protesting? Yes, what are you protesting? Low land values. That happened, I think, that was going on during the last, um, last episode. I really needed to... Boy, I really kind of made a mess of this by saying yeah why don't you go ahead and do fireworks in my city oops oops a daisy that's okay we'll be alright how are we doing with traffic this is still a bit of a pinch point this is a little bit of a pinch point let's upgrade these even more let's pause the game and upgrade them and see if um, if that makes a if that makes a difference so let's do medium density for these areas and that whole stretch. We'll just do medium density all the way through here. And hopefully that's going to help alleviate some of this. Because I don't like having traffic if I don't have to. That kind of helped that clear up a little bit. We're getting a little bit of a bottleneck there. This isn't terrible. I mean, the way that I designed this, this obviously is not the optimal design for traffic. Clearly. I have too many intersections too close together. I have three intersections right in a row and one here. So you've got four intersections in a very tight area. I'm really probably going to have to rethink the design of this at some point. I'm not going to do it right now. But it's this is fair warning for you. This really helps you figure out what not to do is every bit as important as what you should do. And what not to do here is put four <laughs> intersections in such a tight area. Lesson learned. Did we get our did we get our money? 
have less than five fires. We did. Bingo. 50,000. And, you know, only some stuff burned down. <laughs> boy, I'm, I'm cruel. Sure, why not? Oh, boy, there's a fire over here. There's fires everywhere here. These people, um, unfortunately, are <laughs> apparently not the brightest. These are getting ready to go. Did I put this to... It's on medium, so yeah, these will upgrade on their own when they're ready to do that. I'm excited for more row houses. You know that's exactly what it is. I want to have more brownstones. So, I might be moving into a brownstone. God willing, I'll find out on Tuesday. Of course, this means very little to any of you, but hey, I'm excited. Hopefully, you're excited for me. Uh, I want me to be happy. I want you to be happy. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing well with this. We can get things in here, and I just don't know what yet. I'm excited about it. Let me see. Where's our education level? Because you know what I would like to do is I would like to put down the recycling center. We're going to do two quick things before we go and wrap this one up. We're at a little over two hats. I think I need to figure out where to put a high school. And I think it's going to go back here. So let's go in here. Let's grab a high school. Oh, we can't because I don't have the uh, education. We don't have the people yet. We need 15,000. Boy, oh boy. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put down a recycling center. Because I think it's a good idea. And it's kind of big. And look at that. It fits wonderfully, though. We fit that right in there. And let's go about there. And this will only work when we have recyclables. The other thing I wanted to work on here very soon is I need to put down, because I accidentally put down the wrong thing. I should have put down the electronics division. I put down the petroleum division, which is okay. We can turn all of this into petroleum. We have so much oil, we probably should. But I, I had it in my head that I wanted to do processors for some reason, probably because they're very... Um, Profitable. Yep, this is a mess. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna change this to high density. I know I'm talking about one thing and doing another, but let's just go ahead and take that all the high density. That helped a little bit. So anyway, we're gonna put down. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna go into uh, our drilling, and we're gonna put down petroleum HQ, and this is going to take our crude oil and turn it into. Let's try putting this road back first. Maybe we can get that over here. It's going to turn it into petroleum. So we're going to have additional things that we can sell. Because petroleum sells for more money than, say, uh, just just plain crude. So let's go. I want to get this kind of smooth. It doesn't have to follow the road or the, the curve of the thing, the, the ravine precisely. But I do want to get it as smooth as I can. And I'm, I'm happy with that. It looks pretty good. So let's go back here, and here, and here, yes. Still can't get it on there. That's going to irk me to no end. Okay, um... How about right here, facing that way? Petroleum HQ. We can already upgrade this son of a gun. Wow, look at that. That looks nice, huh? Good. Now, oil well, petroleum HQ, oil refinery, refining division. So we have to have the refining division. And we need more profit. I really should have done more homework on this. I told you I was going to, and I sort of lied to you because I've been working on other things, other games, and then, of course, some home stuff, like hopefully moving soon. So I am going to actually get in and do a little research because, like I said, I've done this several times before. It's just been so long since I did an oil mining town that I have grown a little rusty, but I am liking the way this is coming together. And even if we go down here, let's back it up. I don't get quite the look I wanted to, but you know what? That's This is the idea I had, is as you're coming into this town, put yourself in the perspective of the driver. Let's get through the sign. And if we look up, bam. We've got our hills on the ridge. And if we look over here, we've got this great row that grows up over here. And up on the hill, our nice row of brownstones. And another road. And yeah, this is this is the look I was going for. I'm going to fill this in now that I see this. I'm definitely going to fill this in with some additional tall buildings that are going to be for our, uh, our industrial area. So do yourself a favor. Every now and again, stop the game. Get in. Zoom down. Look at, look at what it has to offer because they really did a phenomenal job 
on making everything look so nice. That is going to wrap it up for today, guys. Please do me a favor. Throw a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know how I'm doing, what you would like to see. As always, please do me a favor also and like and subscribe. Tell your neighbor. And uh, we'll see you again next time for another episode of SimCity Starter. <laughs>